Hello, uh, this is Jonathan Lundquist. I am the project manager of the Scandinavian Front 2. Now, I know that many of you have been wondering what the hell is going on with this modification. So, I'm gonna mix two things. First of all, I am going to give you all a bit of an update of what's going on. Man, it's bandit! And second of all, I'm gonna show off a uh, light attack mission with the SK-60B. The aircraft is a light trainer in use by the Swedish Air Force since the 1960s. However, it was also made to perform the secondary duty of light attack, carrying rockets or gun pods. The general idea of the attack was that the airplanes would fly low, fire the rockets, and disappear. And this was more or less a style of flying that would more would uh, remind more of guerrilla war. It was pretty much hit and run. There was a Swedish tank who purchased private aircraft, equipped them with rockets and used in the and he used the exact same tactics. And they worked pretty well for him actually against the Nigerian Air Force I think it was. Uh, so good that the Swedish state actually had to ban this One, propeller plane, the civilian propeller plane he used as war material to prevent him from going to Africa and helping out the nation of Biafra. But I'm getting away from the topic. First of all, yes, the Scandinavian Front 2 expansion pack is there. And this is pretty much my fault because I'm the only one working on it. Uh, the model you see, and as well as the model for the Vigan. I'm gonna see if we have a Vigan. Yes, we have the SK 47 Vigan here. These are made by pretty much the person who made Expansion Pack happen. His nickname for Combat P is Combat Ace is Angel P. And when you think of Expansion Pack 2, you should be thinking about him. Because he approached me and said, hey, I can make the vegan, I can make Tiger, the S360. Red Crown, and radar he did. Contact. And that is the only reason we have Expansion Pack 2, and I can complete Red the Crown, Rambler, the record, or rather complete mod, including almost every aircraft in the Swedish Air Force inventory from 1950 to, nine, uh, to 2015. So, you guys should really, but we're, we're gonna get back to that. Uh, like I said, the attack was done very low level with rockets. Now, the cute thing about these rockets is that... Fire them in a salvo, and that's that's that. Tiger, please. Yeah, I had actually started to select the rocket, so we didn't get a attack run. Now the attack run can be done in several methods, but the classic Air Force method is to dive in and attack from the top to the right from the free top level, and then attack the an I'm gonna see if we can see where our mates are attacking, but we might be able to see them from the smoke. Uh, I think I managed to select the rocket now. I'll try to not be a blatant failure in that regard. Yeah, rocket away. And that's the only weapon the SK-60 carries. So, you really... Yeah, here comes our mates One, with another rocket out. attack. Check. Yeah, they actually got a, quite a few tanks there. But we are gonna start heading back to base. Uh, we don't want to attract... One, 
we are also going to Two. give our main Roger. Return at the base. base. One. Powers off. Red All right. Ram. Ramrod lead. Pass in waypoint four. Ramrod one. Red Crown. Copy. Red Crown. Ramrod lead. Pass in waypoint five. Ramrod one. Red Crown. Copy that. Red Crown. Pass on lead. Pass in waypoint four. Python one. Red Crown. Copy. All right. Now that the radio has shut up. I am going to continue to explain why the Scandinavian First of all, I have a I'm almost there a year ago, and picking up a lot of my time, I so have many of the objects I'm going to my objects. And that means that I have to spend my time wisely, and sadly, I haven't been able to spend that time on the Scandinavian world too. And I feel very guilty about it, because this is probably unique in that, first of all, the way the campaigns work, and that the... I don't know of any other game where you can fly the Swedish Air Force in this Red Crown. And Chevy I know that I have a lot of target. people who want Chevy to one. Red finish Crown. this part. Copy. Red Crown. Red Crown. Red We're approaching our target. Five minutes. Red and, one. Uh, Red Crown. Copy. Start playing Red it Crown. themselves. Austin Lee. Dance and wait for five. That is on one. me because Red the Crown. development Copy and that. coding of the mod is on me. Uh, n basically no other member of the team can be held accountable for the delays. And I haven't released a release date because I feel it would be disingenuous. If I released a release date, I would most likely release the Scandinavian Front 2 expansion from Pack 2 as And I don't want to do that. I want to give you guys a decent experience. Now, I'm gonna go on record at once to say that the Scandinavian Front 2 Expansion Pack 2 is not going to be at an ambition. It's going to be as polished as I can make it, and it's going to include a lot of fun campaigns, a lot of fun aircraft, but I can't give you a guarantee on what it's going to the right you. And I can't give you a release date because I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna take the date Tiger, necessary Red Crown. to see if we get the job Return done. So we failed the mission, most likely because we didn't destroy enough tanks and they overtook our friendly forces. The landing was very rough, and <laughs> I probably didn't give you the guys the answer you wanted. So. Bandit. Sorry about that. Um, either way, I want to thank you for your kind words, your support, and most of all, I want to thank you for your patience. Because while Third Wire may have gone to the mobile market, we have not. We're staying on PC. We're gonna keep uh, developing the Scandinavian Red Front Crown. 2 for the Passing PC. We haven't done Python a Jet Thunder yet. Copy. Thank you. And I'll try to give you more news soon.